"'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, well, maybe a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there, and Iris was all nestled snug in her bed, while visions of minnows danced round her head. Welcome to our recap of Iris's first Christmas. From the moment festivities began, we knew that Iris wanted to be involved. She was sniffing every Santa hat and snooping in every bag she could find. She must have felt inspired to give some gifts because she left one of her favorite squishmallows by the manger. We tried a Santa hat on her since she was so interested, but she wasn't a very big fan. She liked her bow a little better, but still preferred to go au naturel. Now Miss Iris is a very fancy cat indeed, so she of course required for us to build her a winter chalet to spend her holiday season in. As you can see, it was up to standard for her. All of that fun in her chalet made her wonder what other gifts had her family prepared for her. She'd have to wait to receive that gift, but in the meantime, we opened up a card from her godmother, or madrina. Iris loved receiving mail, especially this pretty bluebird card. Finally, it was time for Iris to start getting in on our family traditions, starting with Yola Bokenflot, which is when we exchange books on Christmas Eve. Iris had a ton of fun playing with her package and opening it up, but needed a little help from Mom. She loved receiving this Dolly Parton book. She was up early on Christmas inspecting under the tree when suddenly, a bunch of gifts appeared and she had a great time exploring them. But, of course she needed a little breakfast before it was time for presents. Okay, enough patience, time to dive into stockings. Iris particularly loved her cardinal toy and her redfish bluefish toy, which she ended up bringing to the manger as another gift. Aww. Now it was time for the main event to open up all of her presents. After a little more playtime, of course. This little package was enticing, but not nearly as exciting as this big, big box. And we do mean the box, not the gift that was inside. Although, that was pretty cozy too. But, just not as fun as a box. Or a pretty bow. Iris loves feather toys, and this little one from Target was no exception. All that playing made Iris hungry, so it's snack time! Starting with this candy cane that she honestly wasn't a fan of. Her Fancy Feast tuna treats, however, were a huge hit. She decided to give the rest of her candy canes to her friends which left more room for treats like these yummy minnows. Iris brought us so much joy this Christmas season, even if she was a little annoyed to pose for pictures. We are so happy that she's a part of our family and that she'll get to be a part of our Christmases going forward. Meowie Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs>